Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching in this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, the AIPCA Church was launching their new diocese, and this uh, newly launched diocese is known as Central Western Diocese. This event took place at Ngangiriti Primary School in Nyeri County. So several uh, individuals were invited as the guest, including even politicians. But William Ruto was invited as the guest of honor. Surprisingly, um, despite the fact that this event was happening in regard to Gashagwa's home county, Gashagwa was conspicuously missing from this event. He was nowhere. And the photos were shared. We saw William Ruto. And there was one empty chair next to William Samway Ruto, which actually uh, brought a lot of discussion in this country that who was supposed to sit on that chair? No one was sitting next to the chair, but it was just next to the president. We also had the area governor, Mutai Kahika, there. But the seat remained empty. So many questions. Now, with that, definitely, you can easily conclude that someone was invited, but he missed. And even the organizers of the event were well assured that the person will be in this event. So, in the last minute, the person did not show up. Something that forced Nyeri governor Mutai Kahika to go to the social media and use his time to explain about this event and what went on. Remember, Mutai Kahika is one of the close allies of Rigada Gashagwa. People normally speak on behalf of Gashagwa on matters that Gashagwa cannot address um, by himself. It's good afternoon. It's a good afternoon. It's been a long day. We thank God for this beautiful Sunday. And we thank God that he has continued to sustain us and get us this far. Now today was a day that um, we spent with the AIPCA church as they launched their new dio diocese under uh, Bishop Frederick Wangombe. Uh, it's called the Central Western Diocese. We that, did that at um, uh, the Gangari, the primary school grounds. and. Uh, we expected uh, quite a number of guests, but our guest of honor was uh, His Excellency President William Ruto, whom we have had a lot, uh, quite some time with, and um, he presided over the event, and we thank him for that. It was worth the stay, and he was able to step in and assist the church, even um, buy land to construct their headquarters and then later on maybe build the headquarters and we thank him for that kind of gesture. It is a church that was instrumental in the fight for independence for this nation and many of our, four, our ancestors, our forefathers uh, were the founders of this church and um, they really did it just to um, Pass their message uh, that they did not, uh, uh, they were not really uh, satisfied with the <coughs> colonial, men, uh, colonial teachings, the colonial schools, and also the colonial uh, religion that we got. And therefore, they decided that it was important that uh, they now handled uh, their own, um, and they began this church, the African Independent Church of Africa. And uh, it's been a church that has been through a lot of turbulence. There has been, uh, there have been war, four wars, fights against each other. But finally, now we have split the church into three archdioceses, and uh, we pray that this is going to be a lasting peace. We thank you and we bless you, God Almighty. Thank you. Now, as we continue with this final discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching, and if you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returns, Prabhupada Samasa, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion.
Definitely, the fact is that the person who should sit next to the president, if not the area governor, in that arrangement, then it is the deputy president. The principal advisor to the president, that is the man you would expect to sit next to the president. So the empty seat was preserved. It was reserved for regarding Gashagwa. They knew that Gashagwa is coming. But it seems there was the last minute change. Gashagwa changed his mind later not to attend this event. So where was Gashagwa? Gashagwa was in, in Kirinaga County attending a Catholic church event. So he said that he will be in Mount Kenya but not in Nyeri to attend the same event with William Ruto. So there was last minute change. Saying that Gashagwa decided to go and attend another event where the Catholic Church was just celebrating some anniversary there. And they went on to mention all the leaders who accompanied him from governor, area MP, senators, including even MCS. So that tells you that Gashagwa has a notebook that Ruto was using as the deputy president. That notebook he got from Karen, official resident of the deputy president, Ali Chukua. <laughs> and he's doing the exact thing that Ruto was doing. He would mention even an MCA when he go to an event and it happened that the MCA has attended. So Gashagwa boycotted this event simply because Ruto was going to attend the event and instead he kept himself busy elsewhere in Kirinaga County. The question is, why did Gashagwa boycott this event despite the fact that he was a welcomed guest? He was invited. Lakini Akamua, he will not attend. Why so? Now, this should explain the growing rift between Ruto, his allies, and Gashagwa. Some of the people close to William Ruto have been castigating regarding Gashagwa. They have staged a war against Gashagwa. So it tells you that this war is deepening to an extent the deputy president refuses to go and welcome the president in his own home county. You would expect Gashagwa to welcome William Ruto unless if there was an emergent event that Gashagwa had no other option but to attend to. He, kitu ya, he event ya Kirinyaga, was it an emergency? It wasn't. So Gashagwa just made a choice by himself not to attend the event. Akasema, he will keep himself busy. So this should tell you that when Ruto is in Mount Kenya, he is there, kiviyake. But he is not working together with his deputy regarding Shagwa for the future uh, election or political arrangement. The political arrangement of 2027 will not have Ruto and Gashagwa in the same boat. They will have different vehicle heading to different direction. That's why Gashagwa is feeling that it is not of any important to attend same event with William Ruto. Because Ruto ameenda kule kujipigia debe na 2027. Yeye pia anajipanga kitofauti kwa 2027. Yaani amechokozwa na mahali penye uchokozi imefika, he can no longer stomach that. So, no matter how many times the Nyeri uh, governor will come to explain the fact remains that Gashakwa boycotted Ruto's event. 
Keshagba is not willing to share the same uh, podium with William Samuel Ruto. There is a serious silent war between Ruto and Kashagwa. For Ruto, those who are demanding those, that war, it is the people he has paid. Paka wanasema, the dogs have their own. But for Kashagwa, he is single-handedly responding to these people. Remember the 38 members of parliament who came together to issue a statement and throw their support behind uh, Kitira Kendiki? When there is Kashagwa there, who was behind this? Kashagwa is reacting to all that. So that is the reason that informed Kashagwa not to attend same event with William Ruto. I don't know your views, but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.